Look at it all. Why don't they just drown us as infants? Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. I hope you aren't giving up without taking a shot at Meredith. I am not giving up. I am giving in. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. But I see now there is no other way. Meredith expects blood magic? Then I will give it to her. Make her help us all. I imagine you've wanted to be rid of me for some time. I bear you no ill will. You've done this to yourself. You are no mage, but in supporting them, you've elected to share their fate. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad, but this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. Andraste's dimpled butt cheeks. You recognize it, do you not? You are Lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. It seems a lot more sword-like than I remember. All of you! I want him dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. And I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's lost it. Just like Bartrand. We are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do not falter! Servant begs you for the strength to defeat this evil. Not enough that they make innocent suffer. No, we must also have insult added to injury. Spare the mages, give them freedom, and they would use it to tear down everything we hold dear. No, no, it cannot be allowed. I will stop it. Do you hear me, champion? I will defeat you. Why is this taking so long? Can one so evil truly be so powerful? Make a guide to 
humble servant. Please tell me what I must do. What if I'm not doing the right thing? What if this is all madness? No, I must remain vigilant. Champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. He had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the champion's side. Well, all of us except for Meryl. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith provoked the circle. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... It might never have even gone that far. I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. He is a hero. A man that the mages would listen to. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. He may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Though, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. 